Welcome to Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity, Session 44, Part 2. I am Ryan, the GM. It is the 9th of March, 2020. Here are the players in some order. Hi, I'm Alex, and I play Weird 5, the Android Mechanic. Hi, I'm Axel, and I don't play Weird 7, Android Mechanic. Now do that again. <laughs> Hello, I'm Colin. I play Lyco. He is currently privately eyeing about like a uh, creep. I'm a weird. Uh, um, yeah. So yes, yes. He's, he's, Don't demonetize my video. He's a big, big old Private space guy, but not. Mm -hmm. Oh, the bastards. <laughs> Hello, I still feel this up. I will have my vengeance. I'm Nico, and I'm playing Zora, the best card. <laughs> Born to die, world is a fuck. Hello. Hello. I am Callum. I will join this resistance in attack of revenge for our glorious leader, Nico Zora, Captain the Abyss Dora. Oh, I'm also playing Zig, the mystic from the sun. Perfect. I couldn't have seen one single flaw in that. Yep. I'll add that to the reel when we finish the game of just intros. Um, I think it's perfectly justified. Uh, yeah, you can tell yourself that. And we'll carry on. So... Viva uh, la resistance! <laughs> I think... It's not a resistance. Who's been... I'm the leader! <laughs> Let's let's focus back in. Um, yeah, sorry. Yes, yes. Let's focus back in. And uh, Callum has a question for Colin about Barai. And what Colin, is Colin? Do you count as an undead creature? That depends. That's the answer. What's like, the context? Mecha like mechanically, like if if someone were to cast. Like spells and stuff that affect undead creatures would it affect you? Let me check the specific wording, but generally speaking, if it's a bad thing for it to affect me, it affects me. If it's a good thing for it to affect me, it doesn't affect me. Basically, okay, he, comes so like... he takes the worst of living and dead. Yeah. Oh, that's He's a shit zombie. It, it's, it's shit, it really is bad, but unfortunately, oh, I like being undead. From? They are packed worlds. No, where? Because I was in packed worlds, book and I couldn't see it. I've also Let me just. Gwajamel Glamel to the book. It was under a pile of other shit. Um, packed worlds. They're up the back. About hey, 200, I think. 211. Uh, again, there are some things about the Borai that just are not, as we discussed like, the last time, are clearly not actually done correctly. Like, being Borai changes your size to whatever size Borai are, which I think is standard medium. Um... Changes your vision as well. It's yeah, it's silly. Uh, Briar Medium Undead did not get gain uh, normal undead immunities. And there's for right there, so, targeting. Yeah, like right there. For effects targeting creatures by type, Briar's count as both humanoids and undead. Whichever effect is worse. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So like, if I if I was to cast something like Necromantic Revitalization, which is restore three d eight plus my intelligence modifier to um, heal an undead creature, that wouldn't work on Lyco. Yeah, that's why it wouldn't. Uh, it would. Well, counts as a living creature for purposes of what can affect him. So, such as magic healing. So that's living shell rule. It's it, it actually deathly and living shell rules seem to contradict each other. Well, it doesn't really, because it doesn't say that spells that affect undead for undead healing don't work. It doesn't say that. No, it just says that living ones do work. Yeah. Um, so, so I would say that both work then. So if anything, there's your bonus right there, that one singular thing. I, you know, it, I, just I can see you're reading off. I'm actually inclined to say it probably doesn't. But then yeah. I think that's probably... Give just... yourself the good stuff. Oh, I know. But Take I'm just... it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I like the idea of the Barai. I like getting to place undead, if at all possible. But they are clearly an afterthought. So, what was the, where's the spell from? Is like that one you just read? Uh, that's so, the core rulebook. And what's it called? Necromantic Revitalization, level two. 
Necromantic revitalization. Let's have a look. Spell description. Let's see. I don't see why it wouldn't, because. Uh, like I think I, I'm inclined to say it wouldn't simply because a Barai counts as a living creature for the purpose of what can affect him, such as magic healing. I mean, that that to me suggests why is the spell not coming up. I thought it would have come up when I searched for I it. Mean, I'll read the necrograph because as far as I was reading that as well, just even purely having a necrograph is going to make it affect you regardless. Of what. Well, maybe it is from a different book. Possibly. I mean, I can't remember. Yeah, necrograph do book. change it's your type, type, don't they? Yeah. It's not in the core book. So oh, is it not? To... Okay. Never mind. Uh, right, necrograph, right? It's necro. Oh, my uh, abilities in terms of. Uh, it, right? Zig, can you give me the first bit? Also, damage the spells yeah, and damage on dead and can be subjected to other undead specific effects. If a spell or ability does something other than damage, deal damage would not normally affect such so a creature, but does not affect the creature with the neck. I've sort of done with the creature against a boss. Alright, so we had necrographed, I would affect you still. So I would be able to be healed with that because I'm an necrograft. Yeah, it. regardless. I, no, because of Burai. That is. Uh, regardless, I mean, is what I'm saying. Even if it, uh, even if it wasn't a Burai, if it caused these necrographs, like that mm -hmm. would make it. Work yeah, but the reason them. he has necrographs at the moment is because he's a Burai, for our, our mm -hmm. purposes. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure. I mean, if yeah. if you are happy for it to affect me, I, I am happy like, for it to again, affect me. I don't see how it wouldn't. Like, I don't know why you'd read it a different way because it doesn't state yeah. it doesn't affect you. And you know how particular Paizo are about wording? Vague. So, um, I don't know where you got this spell from, buddy. Actually, where we're uh, on the sort of... Uh... Yeah, like, where, where is this spell from? This is just a website. Yeah, okay, no, no, it's, it's, it's apparently not in the book. Never mind. Yeah, so it doesn't exist. It said it was in the book and it's not, so... Like, Probably some other book. Does it, um, yeah, like it, it might it might source a different book, but I, without knowing where it is, to check it's actually official. Why is it a mystic? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. It's, it actually says it's in the core rulebook, but it's not. I can't see it anywhere. So. Where does it, <coughs> where does it say it's in the core rulebook? Uh, on the spell list thingy. Did you? So next to it, it says the source. Uh, down second level. Sources are lots of different. Let's see. Let's have a quick look at this. Hmm. Let's go down and have a look at this. It does see. Starfinder core rulebook, but it, I mean, it definitely isn't. No, it's not there. I've like, I've like I looked. scrolled through all the spells in the book, but yeah, uh, that is so bizarre. Uh, yeah, you'd think that would be, and people are referencing it. Is it somewhere in the court that they give you a page reference? Because that'd be great. That would be great, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Cause, uh, not that I can see, no. Because it might be, hmm. for some reason, not in the spells list, obviously. Because there's, yeah. there's a lot of results Smart for this place spell. To keep it. I don't know why this is... Um... Something you mentioned last time, Ryan. Mm -hmm. um, just while we're sort of yeah, re right. working behind the it's scenes in the packed worlds. <laughs> what's nice. Ah, that spells in the packed worlds. Yep. Wait, what's packed worlds? Let me see this as well. <laughs> Never um, read this. It's a good book. I've not read much of it because I didn't want to get too deep into things. I'm not going to read that. I found all on the bullets that I see on it. It's the same yeah, thing. that's sort of what I was trying to do. Uh, yeah, so what I was thinking with the, uh, you talked about the sort of steward background in another book. Character uh, Operations Manual. Character Operations Manual I, is the police officer one, yeah. I have been thinking that I keep on forgetting about my smuggler bonus and I prefer to dual wield the same weapon because of my innate traits. So actually this pirate thing 
it, ha- it made a degree of sense at first, but I think that might be a better option. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll have a look at that and before I'd next say time. Definitely, like that's why I suggested it because you're you've been playing more Space Cop, even yes. though not. Yes, and it's the thing that I feel. I would feel it was wrong to change it if I had been using it. Yes, no, I'd agree. I, I wouldn't have suggested it otherwise. It's the same reason why I gave Alex a chance to update his character to different things based on where the story is. Um, mm-hmm. For obvious weird metaphysics reasons. Uh, let me have a quick read at this just now. So, Necromantic Revitalization, Tin Impact Worlds, not the core book, Dear Gods, and... Yep, they one undead me. creature. Lyco counts as an undead creature. There's a saving throw. Well, I, I, the thing is, I count it as an undead when it's not beneficial. That is my reading, personally. I would like to get healing from that, but my reading is that I wouldn't, because yeah, it's like, beneficial. You're reading you should. for that. Like, again, what page was uh, it's one 211. 211. It's actually not that far away from where it was. Right, so, back to 211. So, deathly, for effects, targeting creatures by type. Barai count as both human and undead, for whatever effect is worst. And then if you skip down to Living Shell, they count as a living creature for the purposes of what can affect them, such as magic healing. But that's to cover the fact that you also can benefit from healing from your party healer. Yeah, and also it's like you you can be raised too. Yeah. Yes. I, 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 see where you, I do see where you're coming so from. So it doesn't at any point in your, your actual text here say this won't affect you. In fact, it states it will because you're an undead creature. It's just that you get the downside of being undead and humanoid. Mm. Which isn't that different from any other undead character. That's a humanoid, obviously. Because humanoid's just your shape. So yeah, that spell would affect you. 100%. It's also exactly in its name, right? Necromantic Revitalization. So in theory, if Zig takes that, you can actually be healed the most by Zig. If he went all out. Since his normal healing works on you and this would too. The cool thing is, as well, if the target regains all of its hit points as a result of this healing, you can apply the remaining healing to yourself as long as you're an undead creature. So if we get some necrografts into Zig. Did you put the uh Did you put that book in the hub? The one the one that's talking about a moment ago, sorry, the other one. Character operations manual, yes. The character operations is yeah. Character, oh, I, I'm sure I downloaded it, but then I couldn't see it, so I thought, oh, well, maybe, maybe I just dreamed that. No, no, it's in the hub, but also, let's um, maybe go yeah. into our, our game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's maybe do that. Oh, yes. Since we're here. I, um, I'm not going to redo the intro. I, f- I was thinking about that, but I, I'm quite happy with the conversation we've had so far. It's yeah. been great fun. So, for, <laughs> Sorry. The, been... for the scene, uh, who is booking the table? I think the captain likes his place. So you sign, your, you sign in your com, and uh, can you roll me a d100? Yeah, I go and Cool. So you sign in, put your com in, attach it to your account, and then you get a table. The um, the people that run the Rose Garden inform you that that thing that you're carrying will be difficult to house because you'll need to squash it by people to fit it in so you maybe want to leave it in like the cloakroom essentially talking about the egg uh yeah <laughs> I don't want a table to be another cockroom. Yeah, I'll just, <clears throat> I'll just get a takeaway. And you should, sit you're with sitting the in the cockroom. Yeah. I, you're not allowed in the cockroom. So there's your your new dilemma. We can wait outside. So you're going to wait outside with the egg? Yeah. Yeah. With the takeaway. Okay. Cool. Take the egg to the park. <laughs> Take him and go to the park. <laughs> Take him a, like some fetch and... Uh... <laughs> Do you remember Zig struggles to move the egg? Like, 
Yes, yes <laughs> controlling it when moving it is difficult. Um, but yeah, so I, uh, I mean, gonna mark off, I guess, fifteen credits worth of a uh, zig food for, for him, Captain. You can sit outside yeah. with his, uh, his happy meal, essentially, or his uh, <laughs> his uh, satisfactory satiation. Yeah. Sufficient. <laughs> 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 Um, I feel like that would be the the, the weird uh, <laughs> restaurant, but yeah. And you just got a table. Uh, what you having? Uh, a lot. Okay, cool. Much you spending on food? I think you're buying into the buffet right. you wanted. So. Why? Why? So I don't know. Just spend twenty credits per person, I guess, for the buffet. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. The. Uh, Queen looks for like her place. Like, did you buy like a table with individual chair? Buy? Did you rent a table with individual chairs or like a, a booth or what? Hi there. Booth. Booth. And, uh, oh, I booth. Booth. And the queen says, "And where is my place?" And she stands looking at the booth. <laughs> um, whatever you like. She looks it's at the table and looks back at you, she, yeah. and she's like. I don't understand. Just cram in. I'll just cram in. <laughs> she, just, she just looks... <laughs> Upset's the wrong word. Um, Often said this was going to be civilised. She looks around at the entire like place full of people, and she looks by it. Did you invite all of these people to dine with us? Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a... There's some common tavern you've brought me to. Didn't get fast food back in the day. Yes, I hunted fast food. Um, just d d don't judge until we eat the food. She just looks at you and says, I decline your request. And she sits at the, <laughs> the booth. Suit <laughs> yourself. Oh, cram it in the booth. <laughs> yeah, so like, she, now she crams into it, like she sits at the, the booth, um, and obviously the table is how you order, because it's obviously a display built in. And it's just like those boards at any well-known restaurant, you know, you can put your order on and it'll come to you. Good stuff. Uh, since it's the buffet, just get one of it, you know, we get money's worth. And yeah, like I suppose um, for the sake of ease, you probably can just actually go up to the buffet. I feel like all the food just is there. You get access Good. to go to it and uh, get your plates and such. So I just can sit and actually have a meal. Um, does anyone have any health? They still need to recover here, by the way. Like I assumed everybody's. Stop it. No. Like uh, if you want to spend whatever you need to do to get stamina back you can do so like i think it's resolve points isn't it to get 10 back or whatever to fully heal fully we fully, fully heal stamina. stamina so you can spend your your point your we'll resolve point etc be back to full i mean you're doing okay considering like a tunnel collapsed in you essentially yeah, yeah, it was kind of a minor inconvenience, to be honest with you. Yeah, understandable. For well, the actual situation. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly drowning, a bit of a yeah. demolition crisis, and then uh, I like her just walking away from you multiple times. <laughs> you left me. It's all good. But yeah, so is there a conversation that sparks up, or like... I'm probably just munching. I'm assuming you have, like, munched for a good bit, like... This is maybe in between munches I'm talking about. Okay. I'm enjoying my nutrient shake. Is the queen still not eating? No, she's eating. She went up and just picked up oh, whatever looked like raw meat. She just said she declined your request to not judge. Okay. Okay, really, really. I thought she didn't want to eat. And I was like, okay, then you can suit yourself. No, you told her how to think and she declined that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Really, she so doesn't nice. make her less hungry. You mean she's been spellcasting all day, you know? For do you like... She, um, it's probably in the middle of tearing apart something that's on some bone of some kind, and uh, 
she just looks up at you like her eyes obviously just move up as she's like biting into this big kind of meaty drumstick of some kind and uh, she just looks back down and kind of keeps eating she doesn't even answer you take that as I guess <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she's pretty much munching down. <laughs> That's a, a top quality drumstick. You know? It's a top, top quality drumstick right there, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, not much. Mm-hmm. It's grand. Uh, then, no, I don't think he's much of a, a talky eater. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, is it, can you roll a D100? I certainly can. But will you? <laughs> sure. Don't be like that. <laughs> nope, that's not how that works. You can Is that click how on that the... works? What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, click in the chat, press up on the arrow key and press enter. Click in the chat, press up on the arrow key, press enter. Mm-hmm. Didn't know, that seems broken. So... Okay, do you know what? I will just Use roll the dice a D100. Button. Use a... the dice button. Uh-huh. I think I've become slightly... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Three well. ones! Three! <laughs> um, perfect. Uh, oh. I'm, I'm, do you know what? It must, be, it must be destiny. There we go. Right. You are destined to right, suck. Just, um, like, right, so forward slash, right? Type with forward music. slash? R space. R space. 1D100. 1D100. Enter. Jig. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What the hell are we playing? What is this? It's just what is going on, man. Okay, what, never mind. What the fuck the is that? The thing is, man? I'm assuming that la- the second last roll is accurate as well, then, given that one. So, based on that, yeah. So, somebody walks past you um, and I do like, I throws a. Like a small kind of like USB stick to you. Cool. You can do okay. that. I was just wondering if you had to put one. Just as you're like lying with your back against like the wall of the restaurant with the egg next to you. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, I guess catch it. <laughs> yeah, they would. They just walk away. Um, I think Zig just kind of looks at it, um, seeing if there's anything written on it or. Eh, uh, just a just a symbol for money. just puts it in a pocket and leaves it there. Yeah. Like essentially it's a cred stick. That's it. Yeah. Yep. Somebody just threw you money. Ah. <sighs> the most armoured looking hobo in the on the on the, in the galaxy. Your armor does just look like mirrors that you've yeah. put on with your refractor. It's like it's like a really like a reflective shine. Mm-hmm. So maybe they thought you were just wrapped in tinfoil. Who knows? <laughs> Essentially, like a let's face it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, you doing anything outside? Because they'll be in for a, a bit, quite frankly. I think, I, honestly, I think at this point, Zig's really kind of thinking about what the Queen said. Like, if I'm, you know, Actually if I was going to take protect- it off you. Yeah. Are, are you able to protect the egg? And he's just sitting there going, like, I know what I said, but hmm. Mm. Could I actually do anything if someone of that caliber just decided to, you know, whoop, my night? I guess it just depends on the caliber you think the queen is, doesn't it? Yeah. I think he assumes the queen's pretty uh, capable. Pretty capable, yeah. Yeah. Um, so maybe you're just kind of in deep thought, yeah? Yes. And obviously there's a heat coming off the egg next to you as well, so it's probably not the the worst. Plus, the the city itself is like a normal warmish day. Like it's not mm. like the actual like city environment is probably well controlled in terms of um, they're probably like environmental like what's the word I'm looking for here? Balance, you know. There's a word I was looking for. Equilibrium. Like yeah, environmental like, equilibrium. We've probably got for the city to make sure it's comfortable for people. Even mm-hmm. if it's like a hot, hot day, the city will be air-conditioned, etc. So, oh yeah, as I said, it's a very well-to-do city. 
but yeah, you can kind of just sit there next to your glowing pal and then eat on your uh, satisfactory satiation meal. A baby to be. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think uh, do you actually do anything inside the restaurant for the next 45 minutes? Really? Mm. Start fitting with my armor. Yeah. Yeah. Start cracking on with. It's probably just sat in the booth with you, armholes. to be honest. Yep. Um, Stop putting armholes in it. Yeah, I think like maybe after like five minutes of you doing that, like somebody, like one of the staff, probably come over and ask you to not do that at the, like, in front of the other guests. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Wow. Do you have a more private work station that I could use? And then I think there's probably say, and unfortunately not. If you could, please keep your maintenance outside. That's kind of racist, but I was gonna say racist, man. I mean, it's not you sitting <sighs> working on a suit of armor. <laughs> like it'd be like somebody coming to McDonald's with their engine from their car and just start drilling into it, like. It's not an unreasonable <laughs> request, guys. <laughs> but yeah. Stand yeah. up and take the armor outside. Sit down with Zig. Yeah, so after about maybe like 15 minutes, Zig, you've got a, a pal again. A weird. Steps in next to you. I think, I think you'd look up and you'd be like, oh, oh hi, Nick. Uh, weird. Hi, Zig. Do you mind if I do my maintenance here? Not at all. <laughs> Much appreciated. And then lay the suit down in front of the shop and start. <laughs> yeah, good. I think Zig's kind of like watching, like intently on what what Nix is, um, what Weird is doing. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> it's difficult. Um, You're welcome. Wait, that's just and I was like, it was, that not it was, was really funny fun. because in my head, I'm like, oh no, yeah, I know, it's fine. Everyone else is, oh, you know, I'm not like, I know, I can't do it. <laughs> it's really <laughs> difficult. Um, yeah, watch it, uh, watching very intently and what weird is um doing. Um, you know, just watching all the process. Um, just taking it in. Yeah, and um, I think yeah, I guess time passes. Um, give me an engineering check. We'll see how good you do in the street. Yep. And this has more to do with uh, how well you work under the conditions of not being in a lab. Cool. 30. Yeah. It's also that a lab. Tom of... So, so, yeah, I was going to say, like, it's not that difficult. This is probably better conditions than you're actually used to working in. <laughs> in general, because Akaton being deserty and, you know, you're probably working with, like, junk parts. Uh, in this case, though, the problem is that you don't really have a lot of spare parts, like mm. the right components. Really, you want to get back to, like, a well-stocked place to actually have everything working. You can definitely make holes in the suit. Um, so I can put the... Just two of the arms aren't. Yeah, like essentially, you'd, you'd be compromising the suit in quite a big way. Yeah. But you could definitely like design it in a way that the arms, like I, I don't know, would it be the top two or the bottom two that fit at the moment? I feel like it'd be the bottom two that probably fit at the moment. So you'd be building two arm holes above it. Be a weird. Uh, it's a weird. It's a thing I've never had to think about before, right? I think it'd be the bottom two that wouldn't fit. Yeah, it's just I'm trying to go off your height. Didn't you get taller? Yeah. Uh, not really. Not much. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I suppose we just make it the bottom two then that don't fit. So basically you've just drilled the extra holes underneath the armpits, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, but obviously that's so that I can put the armor on. Yeah, you can wear the armor. It just doesn't necessarily give you like atmo protection or anything like that. Um, yeah, and it won't give me the strength benefits on the bottom two arms. Yeah, exactly. Um, but it's, yeah, it might have other problems that come up, but we'll deal with them as they come up. Um, I can at least put it on. Exactly. In yeah. my new badass tank top. But that will take that, period, that will take you a while to do that. So that role is to let you know that it can be done. You'll just need time, essentially. Yep. Um, we'll, we'll see if you get that. Um, depending on what the others do. 
anything else happening in the the restaurant for the next time? Because it's now just a uh, Zora. Ah, I would just finish cream. up eating and pretty much just wait silently on the Queen to finish up. Well, if you've she's been eating a lot, yeah, like she's yeah. I was gonna say she's. Hmm. <laughs> I'm a big boy. What can I say? Um, um, can you roll perception for me? Let's see if you notice a particular thing or not. So I'm all in a diner, bunch more. <laughs> the drag queen takes off her mask. It was Emma the whole time. <laughs> um, takes off her legs as well and reveals those black pointed crystals. Um, but yeah, now like you, when you stop eating, like she stopped, like she's obviously stopped eating as well, and you don't necessarily notice if it was the exact same time or not, but. You don't go to get food, so she doesn't go to get food. And then you think back on the fact that you wonder, oh, is she finished eating? And she's staring at you and your plate as if, are you finished eating? And you realise that she's actually the exact same amount as you in terms of she went up the same amount of time because she matched what you could consume. <laughs> okay, so I'll just put it. Yeah, and it's like a really, like, <laughs> uh, like it's a, a weird thing that, like, almost, like, touches the primal part of your brain you know where who eats what and who eats first and all that is a big deal from a feral point of view who eats whom yes yeah well and she like as you say well and then she she does that thing where she like puts her elbows on the table because you know she's royal and doesn't give a fuck she puts her chin in her clasped hands and she says, and then there were two. Mm. It's almost like it was a date. Did you use that term back then? <laughs> she grants her head and says, date? <laughs> Again, I'm somewhat out of place in time. Dates don't seem to matter so much anymore. I'm sure, my, Dutch. I'm sure my calendar is somewhat outdated. I'm sure you'll figure it out at some point. I'd kind of start up. Go, shall we join the others? <laughs> she uh, smirks and then stands up. And she says, is there anywhere to clean oneself? She kind of like flicks her hands a bit. And point towards the bathroom. The one with a scot. She looks at you and says, Lead on. Also, all the restrooms in my world are unisex, so. All of them. Oh, all of them? And all still of them. Oh, nobody okay, nobody okay, cares cool. about that. Like, you go okay. to do your business and that's it. Good, good, that makes it simpler. Then mm -hmm. I would go to the door, open it, let her walk in and stand outside. She like, like full courtesies. As she passes the door, and uh, goes in. And, uh, she walks through. I roll my fucking eyes. They <laughs> scream. They scream. Dream. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, we flash over to Mister Lyco Quint. Hello. Right. So you're about well five ten minutes out from where you're getting to. What's Talk sure, me sure. Plan. Talk with your plan. Well, Ryko's like going to approach uh, from a well-used avenue. Okay, yeah. And he's going to... He's probably still got, like, a... A now 99.9% .9 finished and just slightly slightly wet um, milkshake container. Mm -hmm. He's just going to sort of sit next to him and maybe lean against a wall, a low wall or something, or, or like a plant, or, or sit in, like, a, I don't know, Grav bench or whatever they have, mm -hmm. um, and just sort of give a, a general impression of nonchalance. Um, but he's going to be somewhere sort of very close to the. Uh, yeah, I was going to say the, the cultural center. Like, are you wanting to be in like the gardens of the cultural center? Because there's definitely like a massive, elaborate garden that probably showcases different fauna from different pl or sorry, flora. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. If that's somewhere that's sort mm -hmm. of at the main entrance kind of area, then absolutely. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, you can just go there. Like, it's almost like a botanic gardens type thing. Um, cool. 
Gwen, but it's all like you might even recognize stuff from other planets, right? Like if Lyco would even notice that type of thing, you might. Um, but that is a thing that you might notice is these aren't native to Castrovel. Maybe you wouldn't mm -hmm. notice that, but if you did, you did. If you don't, you don't. It can be a something you decide. Depends how into botany you are. But the. I think the, he'd do with some stuff. He would definitely have an idea. But yeah, so you sit there. What's the plan? Because you've got about half an hour, probably. So you've probably got about. Mm, I think you were I'm 10 minutes out. Oh, wait, you were 10 minutes out. So when you get there, you've got about 20 minutes. So you've got 20 minutes before the meeting is going to take place. Right. If you're at the park. I'm going to I'm going to yeah. pull up some uh, some news articles and what have you. I'm just going to look through the 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 the, the Castro Valley and news sites and what have you. Mm -hmm. uh, and just sort of I, again, maybe like sit on a bench and read. Just look nonchalant by actually just being nonchalant. Yeah, actually, just maybe. Play a bit of the tourist yeah, almost, or a just, guy out for the day. Chill. Just Just have a my milkshake empty next to me, and obviously I've been so focused in reading that I haven't noticed that it's empty. Maybe absent-mindedly lift it up as if to take a sip occasionally, mm -hmm. and wait it out. Wait there. Wait for the arrival. I think when you sip the milkshake as well, um, on when you sip that, the holographic band around it that's probably got like a rosebud or rose garden uh, rotating around it. Uh, changes and says if you would like to place an order for blah 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 um, and it's the fact that it notices that it's empty yeah. and it gives you the option to like, reorder it um, I hope there's a bin nearby yeah th there definitely will be then I will as a, as a good citizen simply get up and place it in the bin And return to my position. Yep, cool. Uh, I'm just going to wait it out. So, remember, the only thing you have shared is the the meeting place, not who you look like or anything like that. Yeah. Like, or I'm no, going to be true. the guy in the red ball cap. I am know? trusting this person to be able to find me, but if not, I'm going to trust my skills to be able to identify the person <laughs> who's looking for me. Interesting. And they'll probably identify the person who's looking for them, let's be honest. Let's roll a perception, or a, no, sense motive, right? You want me to sense motive? Right, yeah. bear with me one sec. Cause Sorry, I just need to move, I have, I have a lot of books in front of me right now, I'm leaning over them. The sense motive is because you don't really need to do that much to actually like notice these people doing this, but yeah, you, you get a lot of weird looks anyway, so... Mm -hmm. Maybe you're realizing that the fact that you're like some slightly odd oddity of a person, um, ironically at the cultural center, um, mm -hmm. you're being stared at almost as if you're an exhibit. Almost. Not quite as racist as that, but you do stand out when you're... Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, that's the thing. So you're getting attention, so it would make it harder to notice who was looking for you. Okay, yeah, fair point. Like purely from that basis alone, maybe you've like looked around or you've looked over your like your holographic like newspaper display that you've brought up. Um anything the news specific like subject wise you were looking for, by the way? Uh you know the the sort of the major ongoing events, like what 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 are what are Castro Valley and sites and uh and news board <laughs> new hard light news hard lights um yeah <laughs> news hard light displays uh <laughs> saying about uh you know for instance what happened in absalom and uh and the sort of general unease in the packed world since the only thing newsworthy in terms of that would be Castro Valleys don't seem to care about a lot of the stuff that you might care about because obviously they're mm -hmm. maybe not privy to a lot of the stuff that Lyco cares about but well, true. the only thing is that the remnants of the Pact World government that would have been based in Absalom are debating where the new place should be set up. Yeah. Like, in the meantime, they're also debating okay. whether or not they're going to rebuild Absalom and who's paying for it. All worthy topics. Yeah, so it's pretty much a case of how do we rebuild, right? Where do we rebuild from? Uh, Versus is obviously trying to get it to be there because keep in mind think of the traffic that yeah. place would get it oh it's money. Yeah. it's money yeah so it'd be a massive deal um 
obviously there has been VESC interest in real estate. Of uh, course. Within that, but that's just like one of those, if you'd like to know more, click on this article, blah, blah, blah. Um, and it's mostly just somebody reiterating the fact that the VESC have shown interest. But wouldn't that be interesting if the VESC shown interest and they talk about nothing that's actually informative, just the idea of that being an idea is interesting. So mostly it's a clickbait article. But the, mm. as I said, the main core of the news Again, this is just something you would draw your eyes to. It's not something necessarily like it was a main news article. It's just, this is happening in the galaxy. So your eyes would be drawn to it. Everything else is generic planet politics or, you know, upcoming planet side events, right? Um, mm -hmm. nothing Do I see anything about the, uh, the stewards? Uh, like in what regard, sorry? Like, um, just like, any mention. Just like, I'm just sort of sc always idly scanning for any mention. You know, if if any, it, like, I I I I might like notice a story about like a celebrity, you know, murder suicide pact or something like that, and I would skip it probably. But mm. you know, just just my my eyes would be drawn, to nothing, say the least. Nothing specific, other than the stuff I mentioned about verses, obviously, because that's yeah. like the 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 core operating place from there. Absalom kind of became like a secondary, like mm -hmm. main base for them because it's where everybody went. Right, so yes. it kind of moved to there, but versus was like where the stewards were kind of born from. So mostly, it's just the talk about Absalom Two Electric Boogaloo is versus seem like the people likely to get it, but yeah. everybody's interested. Um, the Triaxian government uh, said that they will happily fund the rebuilding of Absalom Station, but it would be in orbit of Triaxis. And mm. obviously would have a <laughs> stronger draconic presence. Oh, yes. But it would be entirely funded by the Triaxian government. Which is a massive thing. Yeah. Um, that's it. So, dragons are happy to pay for a new station as long as it's theirs. But everybody's welcome, as per usual. Like, business resumes, but it's ours. Because dragons, you know. Um, but that means that governments that don't want to spend, like, space billions and trillions are looking at that as a very viable option, but the problem is giving up yeah. agency. Versus, obviously, want it because that's where the stewards are, and they're kind of using that as this is the birth of where the Pact World's like agreement came from, even though it isn't. Um, yeah, there's um, I don't know, it depends how much are you willing to spend on that, because there's probably more you could look into if you kept researching I well he's obviously kind of, he's not fully attentive to it, he's mm -hmm. he's going to be skim reading a lot uh, so he, I don't think, because my, my focus isn't going to be wholly on that, I don't think I'm going to read too deeply at the moment Yeah, maybe you get to the point where you realise you've actually been reading for like five minutes solid um, mm -hmm. clicking through a bunch of different articles being like, wait a minute, I'm actually here for a reason um, and then maybe it's at that point you notice these people paying attention to you mm -hmm. which maybe instantaneously makes you think, oh god do they all have earpieces? but yeah, <laughs> yeah because I mean you kind of have given a weaker location, right? but uh, yeah. with your sense motive, it's more of a wonder than that's the target look that you get from these people yeah yeah. So yeah, what do you do? You've got about what, fifteen minutes. Uh, having made myself somewhat conspicuous, uh, I think maybe uh, I'm, I'm, I perhaps should do something to. It's not like that again. It's conspicuous. Maybe I guess. I mean, surely best place to hide is in plain sight. Maybe. Yeah. Um, but also at the same time, anything you do might then cause actual alarm. I. Maybe. Again, depends what you do. And obviously, you don't know who you're looking for. <laughs> and they don't know who they're looking for unless they know. Unless your profile picture is you. No. There, there wouldn't be a profile picture, let's be honest. Yeah, it's probably um, the standard deal. I was going to say it was an egg, like it was Twitter, but let's not go there. Yeah. Since I think Trump um, put over Twitter. But yeah, let's not go into that. Now, are there any, like, conveniences or food stalls or anything around because I don't want to go from the place 
And I'd say, yeah, like, like, well, you could probably get some. Yeah, there's probably like vendors and stuff. I think it probably like, like it's a tourist spot, right? So yeah, they'll sell stuff to tourists. You know, yeah. Maybe pop up, you know, pop into the space cubicle, pop out, get himself um, a bottled water, and mm -hmm. I don't think he ate earlier, so maybe like so a that'll be a twenty credits for the bar. water. Twenty credits for the bottled water. How much from the nutritional bar? Probably ten. Okay, I'm getting quite poor. <laughs> Yeah, it's also because it's a tourist place, right? Yeah. <laughs> Your milkshake was like five. <laughs> um, so that was 30. Ah, come on. Right. Yeah, uh, having done that, sort of like killed a few more minutes, he'd uh, sort of return to his spot and sit. Just, just plug himself back down and, and take a drink of water. Mm -hmm, yeah. a munch of a bar bring up his screen again and make like be quite conspicuous about checking the time on it mm -hmm. you know just maybe more or something like is it uh you know you know is that uh is such and such o'clock already you know mm -hmm. <laughs> not quite that obvious but you know just uh, you can imagine he would be sort of not doing it exaggerated enough to be like oh look at the time hey eh? but mm -hmm. if someone were to you know walk past him you you know you you'd see he was like sort of having a little gander at it and then bring up maybe something he's already read mm -hmm. so he can just skim back and forth through it just look like he's really studying something like he's really intrigued yeah and i am um, you get to the point where the timer is like couple of minutes away from being complete. Mm -hmm. So unless you want to just wait it out, you can do so. Unless there's anything yeah. Episode. Yep. Wait out, yep. So as soon as it hits um zero, it zeroes itself out, uh, there's a new email. Open it. And it just says um how to identify question mark and C Uh Okay, uh, I've got, I've, I've, I've got, I think I've got the answer. Um, uh, are you familiar with? Uh, no, in fact, not no. Are you? This is a quick fire, quick fire email. Familiar with Barai? Question mark. <laughs> Send. And then, um, yeah, like a couple of seconds passed, and then there's a a ping back, which is probably the fastest reply you've had from CC. And it says, um, it just says, a, uh, it's like ellipsis and then interesting, uh, <laughs> full stop, and then yes, full stop, CC. Uh, <laughs> and then maybe a minute or two passes, and uh, unless you reply, obviously, but uh, a minute or two passes. Oh, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> and then kind of looks almost like a kind of serving robot, like a kind of white. Mm -hmm. Almost like shiny plastic, as if Apple made it. Um, okay. Kind of automaton type thing walks up. Getting iRobot vibes here. Yeah, not a million miles away. Kind of more. In fact, do I have anything that's even like that? That maybe I actually do. Let's see. Um, let's see if I've got something. Two seconds. Yeah. So let's chuck this in. The chat here. So, let's zoom in for. Oh, what's it doing? It's moving the. Okay. Moving the tail. It's a shift Z is what I want to do, I think. That's so, a... Ignore the gun. <laughs> the serving robot! <laughs> ignore the gun, but like that idea of like a kind of big okay. light screen and then like the big kind of yeah. shoulders and whatnot. But yeah, you can ignore the gun. Um, okay. So, that appears. Um, and kind of stands and looks at you. Um, what was your username again? Because obviously, it, like, you've not given this thing your name, have you? So there would have been various in the forums, and some of them would have been completely anonymous. But uh, let me think. What would be what would be the one that I would have contacted them from? Um, let me let me think. I because uh... remember they linked like your usernames and your posts. In the email, yeah, sent yeah. To you. So it'll be to one of those, and it's probably the one that's the most 
easiest to track if that makes sense right because they chose to overlook other emails that you might have set up yeah yeah um i am uh... one. <sighs> maybe this is the recovery email for all of them oh you know what i don't actually have a good answer for that right, can i what? get back to you later let me just come up with a Let's come up with a sci-fi name then, right? Two seconds, because we need a name for this. So, sci-fi name generator. We'll see what we get. Oh, wait, wait. I I may actually have an idea. Um... Oh my god, some of these are terribly good. Um, I'll just link this list of uh, Terran male names according to this. I mean, uh, I love Rens Scotty, so. but uh, <laughs> Clarice of Brisson is brilliant as well. So, uh, come on, Colin. Arnold Carfax. Arnold Carfax. <laughs> yes. Arnold Carfax. That. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So That's this, it. <laughs> this thing walks up to you, right? This robot, and it turns to you, like it does that thing where it walks in the front, stops, and then just pivots on the spot, and then looks down at you. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it just kind of like stares at you until you look up at it. Mhm. Mm and it goes, Mister Carfax. Now, the, the, here's the dilemma. Do I answer sincerely? Do I answer wryly? Uh, I'm going to go with... Uh, uh, well, from your perspective, yeah. CC? And then it just, like, automatically, like, rotates itself to sit down in, like, kind of one weird robotic kind of motion. Like, all the parts pivot. It just sits on the bench next to you. Okay. It does that thing where it nonchalantly like puts its arms out to like lean over the back of the bench, um, but it's obviously yeah. far enough okay. away so it doesn't. So it doesn't look like it's the uh, cinema trick. And uh, <laughs> it then says, "I believe we have a common interest." Specifically. Do you wish to discuss this here? And like the head turns and just looks Perhaps at you. Perhaps not the best like place. Blank screen of a LED light. Where would uh, where would be more convenient? And then it's just kind of staring. It says, "I could suggest several locations. However, I am not familiar with the layout of Castravel City." Are you? Not terribly. Uh, what say we... Uh, hmm. You know, I enjoyed a, a very nice nutritional shake <laughs> from a affordable uh, food place. It's a thing that so seems next like... did you bend it? You bend it, right? I bend it. Okay. Uh, that seems suitably inconspicuous. It's something of a walk, though, but there may be others nearby. Indeed. Location? I'll uh, quickly... Quickly look for another one nearby. Is there one near? Yeah, definitely. Right. Yeah. Probably one within five. So minutes. go go one with within like five minutes. See. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, I guess we cut to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are now both sat at a booth, probably. <laughs> You've signed your uh, your card in, I assume. Yeah. I'll um, get myself another milkshake. <laughs> yep. Another milkshake comes comes along. What flavor? 
Um, These are the questions the fans would ask if we had fans. This is a good question. Uh, he 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 likes. I think he likes more like chocolatey flavors rather than fruity flavors in terms of his milkshakes. Okay, yeah. Perhaps a coffee flavor one, even if there is such a thing. Oh, you espresso! Know? Like, yeah, An espresso milkshake. Yeah. God, that's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's no, like, you know, you, you get coffee ice cream. Wow. Coffee ice cream's nice. Yeah. It's basically the same thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, um, so you that gets ordered. Yep. And this thing's just sitting across the booth from you. So you uh, you tracked me quite easily then. You gave me your location. <laughs> I don't mean physically. Ah. The posts. Yes. Ha. Huh. The thing like motions as if it's just like relaxed more. And it <laughs> looks at you. And then it, again, it's kind of hard to read because it is like a robot chassis you're looking yeah. at. Yeah. And um, but its motions seem to mimic, you know, muscle responses. And uh, it replies, "Are you a proxy?" I must clarify this first. I am, of course, a proxy. Proxy. Do I know what it means by proxy? Yeah, that's also funny by saying by proxy. But um, <laughs> contextually, by proxy, you could say. It's I'm assuming like, it means are you standing in for someone else? Yes. You've obviously spoken enough in the four minutes to get that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that is a uh, more complicated question than I would like it to be. But uh, I'm meeting you partly for my own purposes and partly for the purposes of my crew. We are so you're an, part outfit. Of an outfit. Yeah, and I think the, yeah. he's both to that at the same time. It queries on yes. you're part of an outfit. An outfit who uh, we've dealt in all sorts of jobs. Are, and, you part, uh, are you part of the Aspis Consortium infrastructure? Hmm. There's an interesting question for you there, Blyco, eh? Okay, I'm going to give him what I think is a pretty honest answer. I, I think this is pretty damn close to the truth, because I don't really know what, how, what they would actually... I don't think they'll appear in anything internally. So I will say... Not part of the organisation, but they have made use of us previously. I see. Are you still associated with them? Is this a whistleblowing uh, situation? I understand that uh, that relationship is most likely over. Although, given the current situation in Aspis, I have no idea what uh, direction that will take future. But could you elaborate on the current situation within Aspis? And it quotes like your direct audio back to you. E- certainly. Uh, but uh, b- before we get into anything too specific, it puts its hand up like its robotic hand. You hear the pistons and stuff, and it says, "Yes, of course. Sorry, I do have many questions. I apologize." And the hand pivots round. Please continue. I uh, I am not surprised that you are a proxy, but I would be. His hand goes back up. Again, forgive me, I am a proxy in presence alone. I am CC. I see. No, CC. Ha! It then just uh, goes back with your audio. Ha! <laughs> in that case, if I am speaking to the uh, individual directly, I, uh, I can be a perhaps more direct myself, you have an interest in some or all of what I posted. You have connected the dots, and obviously you will see there are inconsistencies. And you'll obviously see that my intention was that I 
I was placing the information out in the places and in and in ways that would suggest it was coming from multiple different sources arriving at the similar conclusions for different reasons. I can expedite this. And it puts its hand out and says, please, your communication device. I will share my connecting the dots. And this hand goes out across the table. You know what? Very well, I will go for it. Yeah. A nod and I uh, offer mine. And then it takes it, and then uh, you see like a transfer bar. It just seems to override the transfer request, a bit like getting a Bluetooth mm. thing sent to you. Um, and then it hands it back to you after like a couple of seconds. Okay. Obviously, you've got a bunch of new files on your phone. Yep. And you open them up. I will skim through, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Obviously, I don't have time to be reading much, but... Yeah, it brings up um, the equivalent of a timeline, and there are massive missing chunks of it, but mm -hmm. it does show money being moved through Drow blacklisted accounts. Mm -hmm. um, it shows <laughs> Triaxian political... Uh, internal communications okay it shows a uh, one vesk communication uh, <laughs> it also shows stuff about everything that happened in absalom um including initial warnings a uh, pretty much there's like lots it's hard to describe in terms of um space terabytes but there is a lot of information on that Absalom solely, based on almost every communication that was sent during the attack. Um, this is an impressive amount of data. This is some. I have spoken with uh, people from, from a number of different organizations and groups. Uh, everyone is scrambling to respond to one crisis or another and very few people have noticed even how hmm, there's a path right it's not one thing everything is coming apart simultaneously i uh i don't mean to jump to conclusions but it's very hard to avoid the conclusion i believe that is why we're meeting then we have to assume that there is a connection. You, uh, you've been monitoring Traxian internal politics. Drow communiques. You'll be aware, of course, of the events involving the Drow Queen. Please elaborate. Her recent lateness. Yes, they do seem to have um, went quiet on Her Majesty's front. There has been no word officially based on the absence of any public presence of the Drow Queen. But people are starting to reach the conclusion that and I sort of make a hand gesture, su suggesting to him to complete the sentence. <laughs> and then, uh, the or thing, them. Like the thing just seems like unmoved, yeah. and uh, mm. it says, "I have more information available about what I have found. You seem to be involved in most of the conclusions I am jumping to, as you put it." I would like to discuss this further. Perhaps your organization and myself could ally if this would be suitable. However, I would require a full transparency if this was to go forward. And I would have to speak with my my captain before I made any decision. Uh, 
if I may be blunt, we are a small outfit. Our primary goal or primary objective is to scrape by <laughs> to survive this chaos that we've been caught up in and to try and minimize the fallout. Now, it seems every side is determined to use us to their ends, so it would be... I would be remiss if I didn't ask what's your what's your end game? I sits for like a minute. I mean a minute. <laughs> okay. And then it says End game is an interesting term to use. I merely wish to Learn and catalog. Information is interesting. Knowing facts and intelligence about different organizations does not necessarily mean you're in a position to affect said wheel's emotion. True. Are you intending to alter the events documented here? And it leans back. <laughs> <laughs> well. It would be smirking if it had lips. You know that much. <laughs> intending is, uh. I would say it's not really a question of what I want at this point. Yet you see the chaos uh, through the forums. I, uh... You chaos? Want, no. You want people to know this information, yes. Yet you want them to work for it. Thus you need people who are informed enough to see through the initial veil. You're looking for allies, I believe. I am one such ally that pierced your veil. Yes. And... I certainly hope we can, uh come to an agreement formally my captain my crew will have to be involved and obviously this is not while it's a fairly discreet location it's perhaps not the most ideal to take this uh, discussion further further I can. No, uh, no. I thought of that too. I thought, of it too. I thought that as well. <laughs> I was um, just being professional. I was really desperately um, trying not to say it. But yeah, well, the, the thing says uh, <laughs> I can maintain just presence on most planets if you need to relocate this combination we of will, forces. Uh, we will almost certainly have to make a relocation soon, uh, simply mm -hmm. due to. Practicalities. Do you have a location in mind? No, the question is to tell. <laughs> I mean, it just depends, right? Because, I mean, you could always try and arrange a face to face with the person, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the assumption you I could believe... make so far is that when they were talking about they could maintain a presence on a planet, yeah, it doesn't mean they're going to travel the... to it. They could just proxy somebody, right? Yeah. Like they've done here, where you're essentially getting a fucking tablet with FaceTime on a Segway at the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, uh... Hmm. Uh, no. I haven't sense motive this. I don't know how successful it, I would be to sense motive as Ryan has said something. It is really not a person. You like, can, I'm you not... Can... You can sense motive on everything they've said. You can't tell the way they've said it because it's all been pretty robotic mm -hmm. and obviously thanks my monotone helps that. But Can you... I roll then a sense motive to uh, my, my my thinking is to see if anything that they're saying is leading me to distrust them. Not you know, obviously not the manner yeah, they're saying, no, but has can... anything they've said Are you being verbally misled is fine. Yeah. You can't necessarily go on tone, but you can definitely go on yeah. have they tried to like okay. confuse me in some way? Have I been tried to be manipulated in some way? Yeah, you can definitely roll mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Okay. 
Yep, in no way does this person seem like they're manipulating you. The only thing is you've maybe said more than they have. They've met, they've asked questions you've fed into. Yeah. And the, like, the balance would be like 70-30 in terms of yeah. what you've shared. Even though mm -hmm. they've shared all the data verbally, they've managed yes. to get more out of you than you have of them. Which you could probably tell from being like a cop informant type guy, where you've went to see yeah. eyes and you've went... You've had to then get them to trust you, so you've like you know shared possibly fabrications to them to get them to buy into you as a person so they mm -hmm. share with you it's probably been a similar thing although you realize this person's probably came away with more info than you think you've gained even yeah. if you factor in the data okay um but you don't feel nothing to think of dishonesty or manipulation or anything there's been nothing like that and um, it seems like they're trying to progress the interactions that's it uh, I will. I will. Uh, then I will see. Has my has my milkshake arrived? By the way. Oh, you've had. Like, yeah, you've had it probably. This conversation. Oh yeah, it's already. Okay, that's coming. I think I they waited it till it arrived because obviously people yeah, serve you in we... here, so you had it first. That's why I asked so, you what flavor it was. I uh, I probably got a little bit of it left, so I'll uh, stand up, take a slurp of it, <laughs> and say, uh, expect contact from Akatan. And then it, uh, it kind of does that thing where it stops looking at you, looks straight forward, and then kind of like turns back to you. And then it's, uh, it stands up out of the booth as well, so it's standing in front of you. And it puts a hand out and it says, are we exchanging our true selves now? And it puts its hand out. Okay, uh, yeah, I will, I would, I will uh, accept its hand and shake. Uh, in the formal gesture. And it says... Uh, this is universally recognised. And then it... It says, first names are fine if you wish to limit our exposure. <laughs> uh, I don't worry too much about being exposed once I've actually been seen in person. I'm often considered quite memorable. Yes. But Quint. I... Lyco Quint. And then it, it shakes your hand and it says, call me Craig. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll end the session there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would that would explain why I've done yeah. it so easily. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, what... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually surprised you've never. Classic Michael. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised none of you guessed that by now. No, I, I really didn't. No, I had CC, no idea. I didn't so even like the, the possibility. <laughs> Yeah, well listen, <laughs> CC. Well played. Well Conspiracy played. Conspiracy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake. So, earlier I was having a look while we were talking about the books, mm -hmm. and you know how I talked about uh, the Barai being Barai's, sorry. Mm -hmm. That's a horrible pluralization. Yeah, yeah, Why yeah. would you do that? Um, being sort of underrepresented. Mm -hmm. And it's true, they're, they're not really given anything in any of the other books. They're just introduced not fully functioning, like clearly not thought out properly in one book, and then that's that. The page I was looking at for one of the feats in uh, the character thingy book, mm -hmm. page 114, I was looking at the double tap feat, and I noticed the Lashanta Lish next to it. Mm -hmm. And then I noticed the Lashanta has prominent veins, discoloured skin, and glowing red eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There are two... Two pieces of art, aside from the campaign books, which I understand have some Barai in them, but there are two source book pieces of art of Barai, and they're both fucking with Shunna. What was Where the is page, this? What was the page number, sorry, for that? 114. <laughs> Zoom in on her, look, she is fucked up, she's clearly Barai. 114. Let's have a look. Uh, while we're doing that, what are we calling the session? Is this uh... the character operations manual, sorry, you were saying? That was yeah, it. yeah, it is. Um, in the Rose Garden. <laughs> <laughs> no, boy, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, that's not bad. That's that's pretty good. I actually uh, wrote down, uh, don't break crimes. Um, I wrote down, <laughs> should we be alarmed? Uh, I wrote down the Castroville Culture Centre. Uh, <laughs> those were mine, but in the Rose Garden's pretty good. Um, in the Rose Garden's good. In, uh, I like it. I like it. I don't really think about also, it. F fucked up for uh, like actually to be fair the Barai in the Pat Worlds but it's kind of hot as well the Barai clearly are hot 
I'm, I'm, I don't make the rules. I, these people put the art in the book. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Hey, I think I actually load up the character operations manual. Hey, where are we? Segoody Pegoody? <laughs> I mean, is that segoody Pegoody Boo. Your, uh... Yeah, I mean, Segoody Pegoody. They, they get very baggy, baggy right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh no, this is... Six know, to against the drug for, for, queen, anyone, for anyone who has had to spend any time with um, uh, small small kids mm. um, in the night garden, mm -hmm. Pickle Piggle is... Oh, right, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think she might be Bri. <sighs> yeah, she looks Bri. I'm pretty sure she... Because, like, look at those eyes. Yeah, she definitely does look a bit Bri-esque. Was there, like, another piece beyond the one in Pack Worlds, or was it those two? Uh, so there, I think there are other pieces. I'm sure I've seen some at some point, but I can't remember what they were. But those are the only ones I've seen. There's one in the Pact Worlds of an Ahsoki with a red eye, but it's a arcane sage or whatever they're called. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But that could be arguably if red eyes are the same. There definitely red are red other red. other like uh, glowy eye stuff, but it's just because like if you look at her like the color palette. Yeah, she's definitely the, uh, like, the skin a... is clearly not right. It is weird they've definitely um, focused on Lashunta um, to showcase off Burai. I guess it's more common in them somehow. Uh, who knows? I think that's interesting. It's a really interesting From idea. From another point of anyway, view, yeah, just, it's, it's definitely not what I'd thought when I was um, obviously developing them. You would assume human. But I would at least. like That would be my go-to. Is like If you're going to have a race that's like... So well, it's like Android, right? Android's I'd love to talk to human, more about it basically. if yeah. you investigate right more. Uh, <laughs> because there's stuff that I have written, obviously, but okay. you need to, to investigate before I can tell. Put it that way. Okay. Because obviously that's something that's a Lyco specific goal, I think. Yeah, of course. Uh, well, we've named a session, so in the Rose Garden, uh, which is good. Uh, and then I was, was going to like maybe avoid every thorn has its rose, uh, quite frankly. Because. <laughs> you should avoid that. Yeah. Um, goals, though. Let's look at goals. And do you think we've completed any? All of mm -hmm. them. Um, well, I don't think we've completed any, but... We've won. I would say, I would say we're, close to the middle one. we're well in the way towards the regroup. Mm -hmm. Weapons are constructed, just not stored. We've possibly gained an ally. That's not a thing. No, well, I've got okay, no, sorry, the bits, Unless the you mean just you want to stab them yeah. with bits of bone, okay. yeah, then you've got weapons. I yeah. mean, I thought that was the um, <laughs> And a bit of intel has been gathered, maybe not enough yet, not enough yet, but we're working that grenade. So I think, particularly like the first, third, and fourth, we're well on the way to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely think like, once we formalise the connection with conspiracy, which those two are going to fucking go mad for, aren't? Let's be honest. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's going to be embarrassing. <laughs> I'm going to fanboy so hard. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that that's going to be like I think that will be. Turns out it was Alice's alt account that she never knew about. I. Oh God. It's I think that's going to be like as well on the way to completing three of them, and uh, if not. You know, maybe a couple of sessions time, if not having completed two or three of them. So yeah, I, I'm I think, quite um, optimistic about. To get to Craig, you might end up having to get to the final hour, which mm -hmm. means you've probably completed that goal. And um, Craig could potentially be considered a valuable ally, depending on how you use what wish to utilize them. Um, oh, he's definitely a valuable ally. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and obviously, when you're back in the final hour, like Weird can definitely focus on. Just taking over oh, yeah. whatever the construction zone of that ship is, or making a construction zone of the ship, giving myself a. I just up. realised I am two feet away from being able to completely negate the negative, for more than negate the negative. Oh god, oh god! I'm going to be able to shoot so many fucking people. Does anyone want oh, to rework man. the goals at this stage? So, final, get back to final and regroup, a rebrief. Any change to that to be made? Nah. <clears throat> nah. Okay. Make weapons to kill Haman and store them safely. Any changes? I'm dedicated. Uh, no. Uh, gain a valuable ally against Demogesh. Any changes? I feel like it's yeah. on its way. <laughs> no. Again, just depends if they have anything on Demogesh. Yes. Which, keep in uh, mind... Yeah, yeah they, I mean, they might not. They might not, but right. I think there's a good chance. I mean, I feel like George is also a really good ally. 
to have against them. I think they're yeah. basically a dead set. Mm. You like, could so, you could change like, that out okay. if you wanted. You okay. could um, change it to solidify. I don't know, like allegiance with Conspiracy Craig, right? If you just wanted to focus it, that um, this is the point mm-hmm. of the goals, right? You can just chuck that to the side for now. I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, it's kind of it's a cheesy too far, like because we would be able to get two I mean, goals at one. I sense so. Well, not really, because it depends if they're actually any good against. That, yeah, remember yeah, they I mean, need to be is. able to do something and you mm-hmm. would then need to I mean, yeah, I, guess, I guess change it to conspiracy Craig then and that's a dead certain for that and then we can change it back to demo guess again it just depends on what the <laughs> what the alliance costs you guys right it depends on what next objective is as well when we may why we may not at the moment Lyco is just pretty much going I'm Lyco Quinn I work for other people and a captain we're going to Akaton come on mate so far, that's been it, and he's he's given up his um, phone to him, right? So I completely got. Don't uh, worry, I'm too paranoid to put much on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the interesting thing is, though, you had everybody else's calm on it. Yeah. So should the change it just again? Ali Jim. You tell me, yeah, because obviously I'd rather it was done now than at the start of the next session. I mean, I may as well. I may as well, right? Because yeah. it seems like a quicker goal, almost. And then we can mm-hmm. see what I do with that goal. Can we swap back to getting a highway double guess later? I've got his knees. Bless you. It's also <coughs> double guess. Yeah. But yeah, you could ally with double guess if you wanted. That'd be interesting. <laughs> I would advise against it personally, but you know. Can you imagine, though? It's like, yeah, cool. You can be like my alpha team. Okay, cool. What? <laughs> uh, right, okay. And get autograph. I love it. Um, right, gather okay. intel to pursue next objective. Uh, that obviously is heavily specified, but that can happen after the debriefing. Yeah. And then explore post yeah. connection between the solar and void eggs. Happy with that? Still, or do you want to change it? Are uh, we? Okay. Happy, happy. Oh, we? <laughs> Werewolves yep. of London. Uh, Great song. Fantastic. One seven. Mm. Uh, I guess then. That's our goals done. I'll look into the allegiance with a CC. Honestly, hundred percent love that he's never put it together. Not gonna lie. I genuinely um, didn't have a fucking clue. I, I I'm was... so <laughs> like uh, happy and annoyed and amazed and oh fuck. Well, Zig, why don't you start us then? Just go for it. Continue on. We'll do our writing top now. Okay, I love that. <laughs> Good. That was amazing. Mm-hmm. Love that. Yeah. Happy. Um, I really liked um, earlier. Um, Lyco's browsing of just like you know, the general internet and the general news and stuff. Yeah, just a cash you know, value kind of news. Learning little tidbits of the <laughs> of the universe. Um, you know, like the yeah, because um, something that does happen, right? Like it, it, everything's still happened in the galaxy, to... right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's quite nice to get little bits here and there, you know. Pretty like, I had oh, to stop fun. myself talking at that point because I was like, yeah. if you're not going to read more of this, if you're just going to casually browse this, you're going to need to look into that to get more. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so that was nice. I really enjoyed mm-hmm. that. Um, it was kind of like, oh, what's the universe up to? Mm-hmm. Um, nice to check in every now and then, right? <laughs> Still there. Yes. Good. Um, yeah. I loved getting muddy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you might want to check your cred stick at some point, see how much you were thrown. I should do, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bless you. Nicole. Bless you. Not that he'd set off my head, okay, so I'm sorry I could have passed the button in time. Every day, wash your hands after this uh, podcast. Thank you. Yes, thank okay. you. I mean, yeah, actually, I've been feeling a wee bit ew. Yeah. Um, so. Okay, I'll upgrade yeah. that. Everybody just go have a steam shower after this. And just, like, wash yourself in hand sanitizer. Yeah, actually, and then you wrap know, yourself in toilet roll. <laughs> Uh, sorry, yes, Carol exactly <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah, no, I'd uh, I'd, I'd really liked um, basically Lyco being a sneaky boy and it's buggering off. Buggering off, yeah. It was. It was. I felt reminiscent nice of every time he's ever been more Lyco in a city typescape where it's like, ah, oh, we're back <laughs> to civilization. I'm gonna go. And um, actually, yeah, it was really nice to be like back in, like the hustle and bustle of real civilization, as opposed to 
like random places. Weird caves yeah. and ancient castles or palaces <laughs> and um, weird time vaults and yeah, it's nice to be in a normal place, right? And, yeah, it was it was nice to be. You know, oh, there there are people here, and yes, they are judging us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like almost like being the weirdos in a city or like a cosplay convention where everybody's going, oh, there must be an event. You know, whenever they stare at everybody. They're not killing us. Mm. Yeah. That's true. They're not killing because like, it's not you know, weird. To be honest, the weirdest I was thing... one weird look away to start from like uh, street preaching. <laughs> yep. Yep. The solar, like the solar, the solar gods need your praise and you will get their rays in return. Yep. Makes sense. The, um, yeah, sometimes it's a bunch of... Rays and rays. Yeah. These are sometimes just a bit of an interesting group considering Nyx, or sorry, weird, sorry, formerly Nyx5, would get some weird looks purely based on being almost Kasathan in nature. Uh, then you've got a Vesk, and then you've got a dead body and a big giant gold neg pushed by a rat. So, or an Isoki. Uh, and then you've got your undead guy with you too. So you are a weird group as a combo. Individually, you might just turn a couple of heads, like Lyco at the park, which would have been a good session title, actually. But, um, <laughs> but the... Yeah, I don't know. It's interesting because this place isn't swarming with Vesk. Terrible pun, I know. But, yeah, it's... He's haven't noticed, like, Vesk guard on every corner, a bit like Versus was. So, yeah. It's interesting. But anyway, sorry, was there anything else you wanted to add, Zig? Uh, I don't think so. See, um... see, I really liked your standing up to the Queen. I actually liked the fact that you did say it. It's like, yeah, I do think I can. Yeah, it was very... Um, I'm not going to lie, I actually forgot about that. Yeah, actually, like, um, being like yeah. No, actually, yeah, actually, really, I really did enjoy that. Like, it was it was a nice... Um, well, it's nice, like, Zig affirming himself, right? Um, yeah. Because um, you didn't look to on from either. last session. Yeah, you didn't look up to the captain or look over to Nick, or sorry, Weird, or, like, look for Lyco or anything. You stood and stared at him. Yeah. Like, yes, I can. Which is nice. Um... Yeah, I think that was a nice, nice um, thing. You carry on from last session, kind of this sort of getting away from. Um, mid zig and mm -hmm. going into. Not maybe not end game zig, but. No, pretty, end game zig, some kind of space Sith. We know this. Oh, well, we we don't, oh, man. We don't need to get into. Changes the name to the dark some, sun. some of these some of these high level spells. Oh my god! Dark side of the sun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or is it just red Great sun? Great zig in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> red will become the light. He'll become oh, the dark. Man. He'll become the new. It's going to be the next Pink Floyd album. That's fantastic. <laughs> dark side of the sun. Perfect. Secretly, actually, it's like more King Diamond. <laughs> secretly, I've actually <laughs> gave Zig Medkit as like a pre-title, and I'm actually just training him to become like the Abyss the Second. Mm -hmm. So he's got to become the new Abyss. Like, <laughs> like called the Eclipse. Yeah, that's it. Zig's a <laughs> Zig's a Vesk War title. The Eclipse. <laughs> that's an awesome title for him. Um, that is an awesome title. Uh, Someone write that down. Anything else you want? Uh, no, that that was um, that was really fun. I, yeah. I, it's it's nice to be back. I mean, it's nice to be playing at home as opposed to work. That's nice. Yeah, always nice. You don't have to trip over things and bleed like you did last time. Ah, uh, yeah. yes. Oh, jeez. Try not to die. Yep. Uh, do you want to give us your thoughts on this uh, weird? Yeah, it was a good first session for weird. Uh, mm -hmm. Got a bit of progress in his armor. Thing. Yeah, I actually got to make uh, a, a, a decent start in it. I would say you've definitely got like. The holes are there, and it's probably not, like, it probably chafes. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Um, but, uh, when you get access to some actual tech, you can definitely fix it. Definitely. Mm. So no, that was that was good to get into that. In terms of actual play, though, um, obviously, really enjoy Lyco shenanigans <laughs> all the time. Every time he does something, off to his own. Cop drama. Mm -hmm. I enjoy just kind of being able to take the back seat and enjoy. Uh, yeah, there enjoy. is like there is definitely two games in this game. At least definitely two <laughs> games. There is the game that we run or pretend to run, which is the five and one game that is uh, Starfinder: The Fragments of Eternity. And then there's also this week on Lyco PD. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like uh, Law and Order music, please. Yeah. Quint PI. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I always enjoy that kind of uh, uh, star finding a while mm-hmm. session. Um, other than that, yeah, Zig being a lot bit more. Assertive, yes. yeah. Assertive, yes. I was going to say dominant. Mm. Yeah, both. Yeah. I mean, again, um, Zig after dark, it'll be fine. Yep. This is a whole new range of Starfinder properties that we are setting up. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, and the way he, I just enjoyed the way he's just clinging to his egg, desperately. Yeah, it's like his proxy now, right? It is like, yep. oh, this is everything's fine. I have the egg. What's the egg for? <laughs> everything's fine. I have the egg. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand what it is, why it is, but, but we, ha- uh, we have cling it, to it, and it's good. Yeah. yeah. I hate my space daddy, but this is the only thing that connects me to him, but I still hate him. I hate him. (laughs) So is the space daddy you, or is it the Radiant Supreme? Because that's a... Yes. Yeah. Uh, Radiant Supreme. Uh, Supreme. Radiant Supreme. Space daddy. I mean, he's both glow, right? So... Mm. He's your new space daddy. I was going to say, I think the Radiant Supreme is a space granddad. You might be space dad, and I like him as a space uncle. Do you know what I mean? So, okay, I'll be space. I'm not playing with that. Let's just redact that. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 if he sees me, he's his dad, and I understand why he hates me. Uh, can I flash one ad there, uh, weird? Um, we will get used to your new name, honest. We will. Uh, yeah, but then I'll change it again. Yeah, I know. Um, hey. Pro- probably, probably, <laughs> it will probably be because I keep getting it wrong, so I kill weird off just for you to like meet Nick Six. Um, yeah, that you hadn't fully backed up on the server, you know. <laughs> and um, he's got a few problems. Um, yeah, corrupt discs, but yeah. No, um, and I am looking forward to the more run bomb of his aura, the Queen. Yeah, right, because I love how ever they abandoned them at the table, it just became them eating together. <laughs> I had to just realise that when they left. I was like, oh, it's alright, somebody else is here. I was like, oh, fuck. Like, no, it's not actually here, man. Trust me, yeah. I was like, <laughs> 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 no, what I actually know, right, is this is probably so racist, actually. Do you eat? Me? Being, being, being weird. Yeah, I eat. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah. Good, good, yeah. right, good. I'm, uh, good. Just, you just go off with my face at the table, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. and you're just sitting there awkwardly. Like. <laughs> no, I thought you had his, like, protein <laughs> shot. Because <laughs> I kind of, like, was like, that nah, after, like, the fact, after like, the scene, I was like, wait, is he even eating? Is that just, no. like, me and her scoffing more faces where I'm just sitting at the other side of the table going, oh, just working my arm. <laughs> no, what was happening was I had one hand on an approach on a nutrient shake. I had two hands fixing the armour and one hand holding my little computer watching an episode or something. And one hand making a piece thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you've got four hearts, man. That's so good. Yeah, right. That was actually going to be my second choice. That was going to be my second race choice. Like, the Kassathan, that right? was going to be my yeah, yeah. Like, I'll be honest, Android or Kassathan was the two I was looking at myself as well and I'm like, God, there's... Just because the control thing for the Kassathan. Yeah. They're just so interesting yeah. as a people. Um... As I said, I need to make notes about information for Lyco if he prods further. Um, mm. yeah, I where okay. angels for you to trot. <laughs> uh, Sorry. That's okay. Absalom. Question mark. There we go. Cool. Uh, right. Anything else you want to add there, uh, Weird? Uh, no. That's all good. Good, good. Uh, Zora? <laughs> Uh, I enjoyed it. I said it's zig. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's good. Obviously, like old war. That was always fun. Mm. But yes, <laughs> I, I really did like the fact that the dog can't CC at all. <laughs> Although it was kind of, like, it's kind of mind screw for me. I just seen. I was just expecting a green haired chick to show up. Yeah, sort of, I, said, I know. There was. <laughs> that's why I said it that way. End of the scene. Code Gias would think CC from a uh, Code Gias. I was yeah. like, okay, right, we're gonna get like, I was like, go get him, man, you're gonna get a little power of persuasion, it's gonna be great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's it. His gas power is built into like, oh, that's yeah. all we need. Yeah, that's it. was good. Uh, I, enjoyed I, enjoyed, I enjoyed the food scene, although the, the awkward wrong comment to see it. <laughs> this is the one where, see, when I describe RP to other people that ask me about like the game, and then I describe like this session to them, I go, Wait, so they just went and got food? And I'm like, you don't realise how nice that is sometimes when you're in an RP where, like, the fate of the galaxy is <laughs> at stake and you're like, I can I actually just sit and have a milkshake? It's 
kind of relaxing. I kind of think Kenny will stay like, for a wet time as well. It's like food. Screw it. Yeah, because I think I a lot going, of I was is... thinking to myself, maybe I go for equipment, but I was like, no, I'm going to just go for equipment and rack it on if I go there. Because, like, let's do that. There's a it's massive like... price difference between the two and quality difference, yeah. Like, between the two places you are on. You just could get a bunch of stuff. Maybe not some um, rare to find stuff in here. Um, but generic stuff, 100% get good quality stuff here. But on Agaton, you could probably find anything as so long as you don't care about where it came from or how long it might last. I don't care. So, yeah. Um, I'd do like a proper rig it out session, but once I get the Agaton. Be good. Uh, what I was waiting on was the part where you'd, you'd tell the Queen. Yeah, cool, go get his transport now. Obviously Lyco delayed your plans there slightly by wandering off a bit, but um, had you just went down that adventure, it would have been a very different session, which I think would have been interesting to explore. We'll see how that goes, because you still need to get transport from Castro Valley yeah. to Hackathon. I'm assuming point. we'll get Isle next time. Yeah, next time, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, she looks like she's got like, a Hackathon. garage with a spaceship in it, doesn't she? So. Probably not. I, I'm, I'm still wondering what she's got to do. I, I really sincerely hope she's not just going to run up to the counter and go, I'm the queen! And I deserve <laughs> an escort! I mean, yeah, because she looks like the person that asks for a lot of stuff, doesn't she? So, yeah. It's going to be interesting. That was maybe, that, that was maybe the other drag queen that was like that. I, um, I need to fork up some money. My favourite thing is you still don't know her name. That's one of my favourite things. Like... You don't know her name. I believe yeah, it is Your, your Majesty. majesty. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if her first name was your. Like. <laughs> oh dear. That'd be funny. Uh, anything else you want to add, Zora? Uh, no. Good. La 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 go. Shakira, Shakira. La 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 go. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate the fanfare and also the uh, the enjoyment of uh, the Lyco Hour. Uh, like I always that, yeah. try and <laughs> bring my little noir spin off out whenever I can. Genuinely, so um, I actually you probably could run was. a whole game just like on noir. I'd love to do that at some point. Um, that was good. I liked. I always enjoy getting to sort of like stretch that part of the character and go go and cop it up a little bit. That's weird. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was nice. It was a lovely little twist at the end. I cannot believe we did not see that coming. Yeah. I genuinely amazed that I was bamboozled by that. Like, how? Through what? Do you know the thing is as well, right? I think it was because I was a bit of a dick because I put CC in there, which is obviously an email term as well. So <laughs> it's it doesn't seem out of place when you think about it because it's in the same context as you having getting like been sent an email. Which doesn't instantly. Yeah, I, I think... don't know, but I did like think of, like I think last time it was like uh, CC. Uh, who do I know? It's got C Shakos. Like I, I was mm -hmm. trying to think of someone, and then it just sort of went out of my head. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking as the session we went through the session, and I, and I didn't think, I didn't think it was necessarily going to be anyone I knew. Um, but I didn't have any clear idea who it would be. So that was it was a genuine surprise and. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Hmm. That I, was fun. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that, to be honest. I actually and thought you all had worked it out, but we're keeping quiet. I also would like to would like to say that yes, uh, the the bit where where young Ziggy Ziggurun's sort of stood his ground with the Queen a bit, it obviously had his doubt after the fact, but just the fact that he was willing to back it up. Um. I thought that was cool. I thought it was a really nice moment for him because it shows his... It's not just him muttering gibberish about solar flares. It's sort of him showing that he'll, he'll back up his faith, that he really does sort of... You know, he, he may, maybe believing isn't even the right word, but this is important to him. This is something he is willing to fight for. Um, and it, it, it sort of shows why Zig is here. Not... In, in terms of abilities, I'm not saying like, oh, you know, Zig's crisis of entity, blah, yeah, but blah, his blah. connection to the, the plot, about... the party, the, the overall yeah. momentum. Yeah. Why is with this? Because obviously this stuff's important to him. Mm -hmm. To him more than any of us. And also just the fact that it, he's more of a natural fit in some ways than he might at first seem. He, he's shown his ability and he's also 
shown in reminded us here that if he has to get stuck in, you know, he is, he is willing to. He might not like it. He might not want to. Sometimes he might go that one step a bit too far with, like, the yeah, solar waste. Yeah, youthful exuberance. Yeah. But, but like, ultimately, he's not afraid to get into the fight. He, he is willing to to back up what he believes. And I think, I think you could sometimes see how meek he can be and how playful and... Obviously, Callum plays up the idea is that he is A, young, and B, sort of more animalistic. Mm-hmm. Something that comes through quite strongly in the bits of the Isoki that I read about and the bits of the Vesk that I read about is that they have strong animal themes. They don't just look like animals from Earth. Yeah, they actually like are very strongly themed around them. Yeah, it's definitely more feral like, tendencies built into those particular races. The Yusoki are, even when they're highly intelligent, highly civilized, even when they're magic users or high-tech users, they tend to go towards things that would be associated with rattishness or mousiness. Like, they're they're good at scrambling into things, they're scrappy, they, keep stuff uh, in their they like magic that shrinks stuff down to their size mm-hmm. and things like that. Um, they're sneaky... You know, you don't want to corner one. Um, the, and then the Vesk, similarly, are cold, calculating, but also ferocious mm. and proud. Um, hate goblins, yeah. Yeah, notoriously Fiends. hate goblins. Or fiends, um, sorry, fiends. <laughs> Thank you. That's ever since the Goblin Viscario War. <laughs> the Viscario has stricken from the records. Um, they just claim it was in the gap. It's a but planet that says don't, and it's been ripped off their map. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, th- I thought that was fun because, yeah, Callum leads into the idea of being this sort of like skittish, scurrying little, as I say, almost meek character, but there is a backbone there. It's also, uh, he, like, for me, in, in that particular scene as well, I think it shows more about the Queen's connection to Zig as well, because the Queen opened the door into that for mm-hmm. Zig, because she literally confronted him instantaneously. It was like, do you think yeah. if I wanted this, you could stop me? Right? And also, there was a sense that she was pushing him to, yeah. not necessarily to stand up to her, but to... Just say it up. himself, to hear himself say it, to make him stay, say, no, I am willing to fight for this. It's It was like a... It, it was like she was she was the, the mentor who's, you know, pushing you too far so that you know you... Blah, blah, blah. Oh, um, man, that could be your new mentor, Zig. Ah! Uh, <laughs> if you were going to be mentored again, that is. Her interaction what I want is well a fight amazing. between the Dry Queen and the Radiant Supreme. That's what I'm going to do. the farm, your space dad, and she's going to marry you there. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, let's just, let's just rephrase that. You want a fight between the Radiant Supreme and this Dry Queen, as opposed to yeah. a yeah. fight between the Radiant Supreme and the last Dry Queen. Dead one. No. Because, you know, last Dry Queen was, wasn't good enough. Oh. <sighs> Wow. Yeah, I still got some beef um, with them. To be fair, I think this Joy Queen probably agrees with you. Um, but, like when she was like but, exhaling in the vault, saying, fuck you, sister, right? Like, she yeah. definitely no yeah. love lost. <laughs> Even if she does miss her when she said that to Zora earlier, with the. I guess that's something else we've got in common when she was talking about. like. No My real game plan yeah. is to be like, well, this guy bested your sister, you know, uh, so if you, if you beat him, I mean, you're clearly better. Are you and, talking uh, about. The Radiant Supreme, just... Urgolas, or yes. Hermani. Radiant Supreme. <laughs> All of the above. Um, so my goal is to manipulate like, the, the Radiant Dragon Supreme got shot everyone. by her like right hand man in the chest and lied, and then you brought him back to life. So yeah, no, but it's fine, you know. <laughs> that is fine. Just he doesn't need time. to know the details. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Totally fine. Uh, um, like with Ashwood Ed. Yeah, so I was I was gonna say uh, in regards to like the interactions, the not entirely awkward so much as just kind of odd interactions between the captain and the uh, the, the queen, and I think a lot of that is just gonna be down to the fact that status, right? He's in charge, and she very much sees herself, even though in reality she's not really in charge of anything much at the moment. Yeah, she's at like but nothing, right? She has nothing. She's a queen. <laughs> so she that's how she sees herself that is how she views herself she is a leader he is Tyrannus. a leader yeah <laughs> uh, uh, something something uh, anyway, mm-hmm. yeah so that, that, that's, that was fun as ever and, 
<laughs> yeah, there it is. Um, and of course, uh, as ever, we we had a bit of no longer Nicks, um, but weird doing his uh, weird things. Weird thing, yeah. Well, not so weird. Um, yeah, he was doing just what he was doing today was more thing. practical. Mm-hmm. But it was it was unusual in the context and that, and it's just we. I think I. I would say that this was a great example of him really being pretty much exactly the fucking same. Now, maybe he isn't. <laughs> maybe there are some deep changes that we have not. Like, but whatever the changes are, it's clearly very much the same guy underneath, right? Mm-hmm. Right, I think there yeah. might be at some New point maybe there will be a next set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but this is like, what's, what is underneath the new weird chassis is still very much the, ne- yeah, the next OS. Mm-hmm. That is... That is how I interpret it anyway. And it's nice to see him sort of being, despite this new form, sort of business as usual. Well, on that though, I think mm. the changes Comfort. that I noticed, especially, like, yeah, I totally agree. This felt like um, business as usual for weird. Um, going back to like what Nick's would have done in a session. The only changes I like that have kind of came forward is still the reverence or at least respect for SK. And I like that. Um, it's yeah. an angle I really like exploring, to be honest, because A, I love that NPC, and B, it's nice to see somebody that wasn't particularly fond of her if we flash back to when she was saying permission to come aboard <laughs> to the uh, the decaying Absalom station. Uh, and next bit, yeah. like, I have a big gun. You shouldn't come on board. And she says, well, I want to come on board because I don't want to die. <laughs> yeah. Ironic, that conversation now, retrospectively. Um, but yeah, it's a... Uh, it's been an interesting journey for next five up until weird for the. Oh, I wouldn't even say attachment because I think it is more raw respect, right? You can correct me if I'm mm-hmm. wrong, Alex, but like, it's not like next five became infatuated with her. It's more just, yeah. You want to maybe you could explain it to me better instead of me. Quoting yeah, no, I think I think it's definitely an aspect of, um, yeah, he was suspicious of her in the way that he's kind of suspicious of major players, um, on the. The solar system stage, um, and her being a representative of a large or- organization. Mm-hmm. So you know he had his issues with her and her general arrogance as well when they first met. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, she still gave her life mm-hmm. to, have, you know, in some way shield them. Um. So, and also I think with the general rel- revelations that are coming out, there's the. Uh, Really are kind of much more aligned than um, he originally thought. Mm-hmm. Um, if possibly a little bit of frustration on his part that she wasn't just more open with that at the start. Uh huh. Because like if people were just open, open source. Yeah. Right. <laughs> if people just said what they thought, like Nix and Weird do. Mm-hmm. Then uh, I feel better yeah. about the fact that you got the names there as well. Thank you. Uh, validation yep. for everyday this right. session. Perfect. Yep. <laughs> it happened. Um, but no, yeah. Like for him, it's, it's definitely a matter of uh, respect. You know, a fallen comrade who. Yeah. You know, no, I like it a lot. To be honest, what um, she did. I really like. Particularly knowing that she had the power to teleport away if she wanted. Yeah. Frankly, like. That's something that user are aware enough that she was able to like blink away when you check a limo mm-hmm. way back at the start. I am um, so it might have like dawned on you maybe after the fact that yeah. oh yeah maybe she could have got herself out of that. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it does. Yeah. It was a intense fight that technically lasted like what a minute, and it was brutal. Yeah. It was an absolutely brutal minute of your guys' lives, and mostly mm-hmm. involved laser fire, like clawing your captain literally clawing at this thing. As Dragon can, yeah. Do you know what I mean, like, and at the time, Nyx didn't achieve much in that fight. Yeah, because it was like so. The entire experience was incredibly frustrating for him. And a lot of it wasn't so much you not achieving as that thing was competent enough to like block a lot of the hits or dodge them while mm-hmm. multitasking a Vesk fighting into it and like you know some fucking weird banker, um, with a white yeah. blade. So yeah, it's yeah, it was quite quite scary to see what even one of like Hamani's men, if you will, can do. I... Yeah, I think there's also an element of laying her to rest properly is almost in itself an act against Himani. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a, a, a symbolic matter to her entirely. Um, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Mm-hmm. Because he obviously doesn't have any and particular love for the Church of Abadar. Let's face it. No, but he is one for 
yeah, a sort of poeticism. Mm-hmm. Um, to think, so, yeah. Yeah, because like uh, weird and Nix Five. I've been trying to see if weird is like this, but Nix Five was definitely sentimental in the sense of um, yeah. You had all those trinkets from places that you'd been, uh, and like your mm-hmm. workstation on the shelf and stuff. The stuff that got fed to the ooze eventually. Poor Ivan, they yeah. get back to you, Ivan. Honestly, king of ooze. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, the like eventually of like weird is the same way. Um, yeah, I actually that's one that era that we like exploring with the android being you know kind of very out of touch socially, doing things that you know mm-hmm. being over focused on a task, but still. I personally a lot of these cannot to. wait till Alice sees you. Honestly, yeah. I'm so hype for it because I'm not going to be that particularly hype about the Queen and Alice meeting because mm. that's me talking to myself. But there'll be a lot of. <laughs> I'm uh, excited. Well, as I discussed before with, I think, uh, Nico, a lot of that will be you talking to one of them and the other person talking to you about that conversation. Uh, so enjoy those uh, sectional segmented conversations uh, to avoid that horrible problem of me just monologuing for a couple of hours. Uh, anything else you want to add? Uh, weird? Because I think uh, we can uh, rotate it back. Yeah, right, jump back to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's fine. So, it's worth it. See if uh, Colin has anything to finish off with. I think we're, we're good. Good, good here. Yeah, I'm good here. Uh, it should all be good for next week as well, assuming nothing falls apart. Uh, and I will catch everyone later. Thanks again for playing. Thank you. Thank you for running. Thanks for running. Thank you for running. And goodbye, everybody. Yes.